So this all happened down in Yunnan province in the Shiswang Bana Dai Autonomous Prefecture. Forestry officials had been monitoring an elephant herd and saw that a male elephant separated from the group and wandered into a town. So they used a drone to follow the elephant as he explored local streets and managed to damage nine cars. People along his path were evacuated as officials tried to guide the elephant back to the forest. Eventually, the elephant made it back home. One user commented that it was sad that elephant habitats are getting smaller as more people move in on their territory. Officials said the elephant left the group because another male elephant kept trying to force him away. Poor thing. Our next turning topic, a disturbance that happened at a cherry blossom festival at Wuhan University over the weekend. A man wearing a kimono wasn't allowed to enter the festival and was even hit by security guards. Video shows him being hit and his friend held to the ground. He shouts, why are you hitting us? I'm wearing a costume. The university has a rule that Japanese clothing is forbidden for visitors who are appreciating the cherry blossoms. The rule was made out of respect for events that took place in World War II, when the city of Wuhan was the site of a large battle between Chinese and Japanese forces. It ended when Japan captured the city after hundreds of thousands died. One commenter said, after the fall of Wuhan, the Japanese army turned the Wuhan University campus into its headquarters. Wearing a kimono here stirs up nationalist feelings. Our next trending story is the announcement that Italy will return nearly 800 ancient Chinese relics to China. The announcement was a gesture by Italy during Chinese President Xi Jinping's recent visit to Rome. Objects returned include Song Dynasty porcelain and a Ma Jia Yao red clay pot. Some of the returned objects date as far back as 5,000 years ago. One person said, I hope that more cultural relics lost overseas can be returned to China as soon as possible. Another said, France, England, we can make arrangements whenever you are available. Our final trending story is Chinese cabbage, or da bai tai. Yep, these beautiful bundles of green and white were recently featured in a piece by Pear Video explaining its cultivation and longevity. Anyone who's visited China in the winter can't miss seeing piles of cabbage stacked up because they have such a long shelf life. One user said, when I was young, it was really a winter of cabbage. Another said, there were no dishes in the winter, but the house in the alley had to have 100 pounds of cabbage. And still another said, I want to eat cabbage now. I kind of want some cabbage now too. Hmm. Well, that's a quick look at trending topics in Chinese social media. You can find out more about what's trending on the digital hub by following us at CGTN America on Facebook, Twitter, and Weibo.